Trumpets Prepper. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine is one of the most dangerous doctrines of our entire time. With that said, before I explain that, I want to explain to you why that I arrived at making this video today. Um, this channel now exi has existed for almost about eight years. And I've spoke about preparing for the Seven Trumpets Revelation pretty much from almost day one. But the thing that is very important to understand is that many people live in a fantasy land thinking that one day they're just going to whisk away and all their problems are solved. But yet throughout the pages of scripture from way back in the Torah to Noah's day and building an ark to survive the flood to Joseph building granaries in Egypt, there is a trend continuously forward that there is suffering, there is people that come out of suffering, and there's people that also, because of they, their preparations, they came out of this suffering. With that said, the book of Revelation details out in great detail our last generation and that which is to come, which entail in depth is roughly the core of it is the seven trumpets of Revelation and the final place to come. When I was sitting at a restaurant recently, I had invited some family to dinner. I also had my fiance with me. A lady that walked up asked me, were you not the guy on Doomsday Preppers? Which I responded, yes, ma'am, I was. And I went further to give her the information for my YouTube channel. As we dialogued at the dinner table at this restaurant, what was interesting to me is that there was a mixed viewpoint at that table. The waitress agreed with my standing that we needed to prepare for the trumpets. But some of the other people that was at the table with me and family disagreed. <coughs> Excuse me. What is interesting to take away from that is the very last part of that dialogue. I explained to everyone that the greatest risk you have, though, is that if you pretty much roll, and I'm just summarizing the situation, is that if you roll the dice and you hope for the rapture, and D-Day plus one, you're still here, you're in a bad spot. And that's what I want to point out to all my subscribers and everyone that listens and follows this channel. And I hope this video is inspirational to you. I hope if any video I've ever made out of the bulk of them, this one's a, a baruch to you, a, a blessing. People, we live in the last generation. As we speak, as I am speaking to you, the book of 2 Ezra chapter 16 is in play. We've got Iraq and Iran going at it. We have all sorts of turmoil in the Middle East, and Scripture talks about, woe to you, Babylon, Asia, woe to you, Egypt, Damascus, put on hair, cloth, sackcloth away, sons and daughters, because your destruction is not in. Line, 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 go down further in the chapter, and it talks about this is the beginning of sorrows. We are at a turbulent time in the history of humanity, and especially those of us that live in the United States, that with election time coming, a possible financial issue coming, with the war in the Middle East that's definitely going to arise, if we look at Albert Pike's writings, which was a 33rd degree Freemason, and we see the wickedness of their writings toward the First World War and the Second World War, and now what we see written about the Islamic world fighting the Western world, um, I think we should take a lot of that to heart because these wicked people know exactly what they're doing in behind closed doors. Aside from all of that, we have the impending judgment of the Most High Yah on this flat earth under a firmament dome. That top's going to be ripped open one day and a new kingdom come down and judgment's coming. And we all need to be preparing our hearts and minds. Ladies and gentlemen, I have told you all ever since the start of this channel, you have followed me in my walk, trying to get it right. I pray Most High Yah purge me of all sin. I'm, I want to be perfect when he arrives. And I, I think it, we all are working Every day we need to be chipping away at trying to get closer to that wall. But the trumpets are coming. And when people are not whisked away in the pre-tribulation rapture and their church pastor is standing there, these people are going to be filled with rage and wrath. And guess what? A lot of them, it's going to be too late. Because there's no time to bolt down solar panels on your roof. There's no time to dig a well. There's no time to put back multiple years worth of food. There's no time to build a bug out bag or get home bag just to survive for a few months if you had to just rough it in the woods. There's no time to do any of this stuff because judgment has arrived. The pre-tribulation rapture doctrine, in my honest opinion, and I would say with um, from a theological um, scholarly view from studying this for over a decade, I believe 
the, the greatest reason that most churches and most theological institutions um, and etc. teach this doctrine while at the same time preaching eternal hellfire and brimstone is for financial gain. If you can, you know, the Roman Catholic Church uh, kept their coffers full in the Dark Ages, especially by fear. And the thing is, is at the same time, while giving fear, if you can give great peace of mind by this, I'll be gone and not have to deal with this, then you have essentially stolen the mind of many people that are simple hearted and want to avoid this. The problem is, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you an opposite dialogue today that you need to prepare. And any wise man that foresees this danger would be prudent to do so. Um, you know, the scripture encourages this. Uh, you know, a wise man sees danger. He does something about it, right? Well, in the day and age we live in, let's suppose that the trumpets weren't taking place right now. Would it not be our wisdom and diligence to at least prepare something for a month, two months, three months in case of financial economic collapse, another OA banking crisis, the power grid damaged by terrorist strike, nuclear war, Middle East warfare uh, affecting our economic state, uh, election going bad and riots in the street. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, as I speak right now, there's issues going on in France where it's so bad that France pretty much in the interior there is shut down in many places. This is the world in which that we live nowadays. And if you believe in the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine, you are putting your eternal, uh, the, the eternity that you could gain in the kingdom at great risk because when the time comes and the trumpets start and the mark of the beast is, is, is full in full implementation, forced worship and RFID chips and all the garbage that which is to come, then you are ruined. Because to be in a position where you can say, no, I will not comply, is far spent, and that day and there is far past at that point. This is why I'm warning you today to please look at both narratives. You've, if you're in church today, say you even attend Saturday church. Uh, the Sunday church is predominant for this. And, but those church houses that don't keep the Father's Lunar Solar Calendar, that don't keep the Torah, that don't try to do that which is right um, and teach the church doctrines of the church and not the Bible, many of these institutions will teach you the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine. But the other narrative is to prepare for the trumpets. The great benefit that you have to gain is if nothing happens, then uh, or, or, or if you are whisked away in the rapture, then great. You, you're in a great spot. But if not, you're still in a great spot because you have preparation for the day which is to come. And it's going to come up on all the earth. So ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you today, please, please study out the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine. You will find if you look at the trumpets, if you look at all the warnings throughout scripture of the, that great and awesome day of y'all to come, it, there is no whisking away. There is going to be great suffering. There is going to be a great time upon earth, which has never been since the foundation of mankind nor ever will be again. So get prepared, get to prepping, and make sure you're ready for whenever the trumpets blast and the trumpets start you're going to be ready. So guys, I hope this helped you and encouragement. Please study these things. I'll see if they'd be so. Don't take my word for it. Study to show yourself approved the y'all. So as always, do we see you again same time on the channel, guys. Hope you have a most baruch day in Yahushua night.